Hello guys, uh, good morning again and uh, have a good day. Welcome again to my channel S. Padrikella. In today's video I will uh, uh, show you how to calculate the ro double rolling offset in piping. So while we are outside, uh, we sometimes we got some iso drawing that have an offset not only one but uh, two offset meaning in our piping we have two offsets one is the horizontal offset and one is the vertical offset and uh, i know that uh, most pipe peters knows about this uh, but uh, if you are uh, new and uh, not familiar with this and uh, don't know how to compute the rolling offset uh, i will show you in this video how To be able to know the offset, first thing because uh, some uh, pipeters are confusing whether it is uh, vertical or horizontal. Uh, if we get the drawing and uh, we see uh, this line, shaded line, if the sh shadows are uh, perpendicular to the edge perpendicular to the edge of our paper or our drawing meaning it is vertical offset vertical offset meaning it's uh, uh, going up or going down and if it is not uh, uh, perpendicular horizontal offset is uh, the offset where there is a rolling but it is in the, in the same elevation and uh, as a guide, while we are uh, looking at the drawing, our uh, north at the left uh, topmost of our isometric. So this guide will help us uh, to determine if it's going up and down. See. Uh, our node is on top of the isometric drawing so meaning this line is uh, south from south to north and if this line is from west to east and if this uh, line which is perpendicular to the side of the isometric drawing it is uh, up and down so it is uh, parallel to the up and down so meaning our our offset is vertical so this uh, line is perpendicular to the, the north to south meaning it is horizontal offset going pr coming from uh, south going to north so uh, I think it will uh, help us in determining whether it is uh, horizontal or vertical offset. So guys, and uh, another information, if we get the drawing, uh, it's either on site or in publication, most drawings are incomplete in detail. They are just giving the run, they are just giving the set, and another set is here. And sometimes uh, travel is not given, travel here is not given, and the degree for the vertical is not given, the degree for the horizontal is not given. So, uh, for that uh, uh, problem, we will uh, learn how to calculate the double rolling offset 
so for this isometry and now we, what we will need to do is we will get the dimension for the this this dimension we will get the dimension for this uh, value given in here we will get the value of our travel so if this uh, is our run this is our set and this is our degree here so our formula is based on Pythagorean uh, theorem this is our uh, formula to get the travel uh, our formula is travel is equal city squared plus uh, run squared uh, it, it is square root square root of uh, city squared and run squared so the value we have got is uh, the 700 plus uh, 2000 squared uh, square root so the total of this is 218.9 we already i already i already computed it and um, if you try just uh, compute it by yourself and uh, the number we got is 2118 the value of this is 2118.9 so now we are uh, now complete we have uh, the travel for horizontal offset and the travel we have this set uh, what we need to do is uh, we will get the degree to get the degree uh, our formula is this uh, degree is equal set divided by run equal ship tangent so 100 uh, divided by 2000 equals uh, 0.35 ship tangent uh, and uh, the degree we got is 19.29 so our degree here is 19 19.29 19.29 and uh, now we are completed with that uh, horizontal offset now uh, what we need to do is we will get the degree for vertical and we will get the travel for vertical to, to be able to get our uh, the pipe pipe the length of the pipe to be cut so our formula here is uh, the same with uh, the formula we use for uh, horizontal our formula is uh, travel is equal to city squared plus uh, run squared what we have is 550 squared plus 2118.9 squared and uh, square root and we got is 2189 so this value is 2189 2189 so now we already get the value for uh, the travel this is our uh, true length for uh, the five so now we again get the degree for the vertical offset to get the degree this is now our formula same with the uh, uh, formula we use for uh, horizontal 
our uh, degree is equal to set divided by run and then shift tangent so we have a set of 550 and we have the run up to 118 and then uh, divided by so it's point two six nine five ship ship ten in degree it is equal fourteen point fifty five uh, we got fourteen point fifty five so now our degree here is fourteen point fifty five what we need to do now is our uh, value for this offset is now complete. What we need to do is for the horizontal offset, uh, before we fit up, we need to uh, do some ro rolling, rolling uh, the elbow to be rolled. And uh, how to get this is uh, we need to know what are what is the size of the, our uh, pipe. Now uh, our pipe is six inch, and if we have the six inch, our outside diam diameter, meaning uh, outside diameter is the portion from uh, side to other side uh, passing through the center it is the diameter 8 and 68 and uh, if we, we get the radius the radius of the pipe it is uh, 168 divided by 2 only so for the radius we got uh, 84 84.13 So now to be able to rule the elbow for fit up our degree is 19.5 19.29 sorry it's 19.29 so our formula to get the arc length or the degree to be rolled is this now our formula is arc is equal uh, radius times degree times 0 0.01745 remember guys this is a constant for getting the arc, arc length it, this is the formula 0 0.01745 but if sometimes uh, you tend to forget uh, this uh, you can uh, able to get this by pressing tangent one this is the value of the tangent one so our radius is 84 multiplied by 19.29 degrees and then multiplied by one by 0 0.01745 which is the tangent the value of the tangent one and what we got is 28.31 mm it is in millimeter so guys uh, for example if this is our normal fit up on the elbow and our pipe is ruled uh, by 19.29 degrees for 6 inch 19.29 degrees so uh, we will uh, measure it 29 uh, 28.31 31 mm so but to roll it is uh, from normal fit up you roll it where where uh, to go for example if it is coming south to, to north so you roll it you make a reference here and uh, you you put mark on the both the uh, elbow and pipe and then turn it with that 20 28.31 mm on the actual so now uh, 
we got the degree of rolling for horizontal so for this uh, vertical offset uh, usually our elbow is 90 degrees so now in our uh, ISO there is a vertical uh, offset of 555 so to get the elbow is we have already 14.55 degree here so what we need to do is we will trim the elbow if uh, our elbow is uh, 90 degree uh, what we need what we need now is only 70 75 uh, 0.45 degree because we already minus the 45 degree so now uh, we have 90 degrees minus uh, 14.55 degrees so uh, for this uh, vertical offset we need a trim trim elbow and uh, to know how to trim elbow to do the trim elbow I, I will show you on my next videos so that's all and uh, I hope you got something uh, some information how to, on how to uh, compute I hope you got some uh, ideas and if you are a pipeter uh, who, who want to learn more about piping there are some questions about piping that uh, need to know or you are uh, aspiring pipeter and learn uh, one uh, more about piping uh, hope you consider uh, subscribing this channel god bless thank you for watching